What's up, everybody? So, let's paint some orcs here. And, uh, yeah, I got my new chair. Well, a new chair. Uh, I forgot we had it. We've had it for a little while. But the reason I forgot we had it is because uh, when it got put together, they put it together all fucked up. And so I uh, took it apart, reassembled it correctly, and uh, now it's a functioning chair. We have here some storm boys without heads and a single storm boy with a head and uh... I'm holding a lighter never mind that this is a uh, another storm boy he's got the it's got like these powered arms I think they're pretty cool um... Yeah, that's good enough I think it'll yeah it's perfect um... We gotta be careful here, because this is a somewhat of a tight space, but it's fine. My uh, brush control's been, been getting better and better with the more orcs I paint. Pretty excited for this box of Storm Boys. It's my first uh, of many. I really enjoy the idea of having orc jump infantry running around, and uh, not a small amount of it either. I like, uh, the orc jump infantry, I do, knocked a knob over here, I'll put, put him over here and probably chop my, my mech with the paintbrush. The idea that, uh, I can have, uh, for three, or one fast attack slot, 30 orcs, I'm gonna say three, because I was some reason thinking about some current formations, but when eight's coming out, who knows how many fast attacks you'd handle have? And uh, yeah, eight um eight. I don't know where I pulled that number. Uh, thirty storm boys in a single fast attack slot, and then they get the two d six uh move speed plus the 2d6 charge plus their regular move speed I don't know if they'll still get the uh, that's a good question will they still get that 2d6 orc boy orc jump infantry move speed where they rocket pack across the battlefield who knows if they don't I still think they're hilarious models and uh, I want I want to use them because uh, well I want to use uh, orc Jump infantry? I don't really know if they're jump infantry. I was thinking about using them as jump infantry. But I was doing reading about how far they can move just on the ground. And uh, using them as a, a presence on the ground uh, as part of a tide I think might be more appropriate for the way orcs are. Um... Yeah, let's talk about the true scale marines. These true scale marines. I mean, you guys thought Games Workshop was going to release 8th and not release some sort of gimmick to sell you guys a whole shitload of miniatures? I'm waiting for the orc gimmick, dog. Come on. Come on, dog. I'm waiting for that orc gimmick. I want these, uh. I want the new true scale orcs. What do I know about these true scale marines? What they released on the website. That's all I know. What I read. It's interesting to me. Am I concerned about it? I'm not overly concerned about it. I have no reason to be. Uh, they said they're not going to defunct any uh, marines. Some people say, well, I'll want the true scale marines as my whole army, but I think they're going to be like the Adeptus Custodes in a certain aspect that they're like just big elite dudes that cost more and have better stat lines but they can they're like a more plug and play version of them even like one of the questions kind of like I don't know if it compared it to the Adeptus Custodes but it was like do they get along and uh you know I figured if they're if they were just regular old space marines why wouldn't they get along but they were like more direct 
the Sons of Gil uh, Robot Goalie Man 2.0, the new Marine. I think they they'd be a little bit more friendly instead of being like, well. Oh, sh shit, man. Hold on. Go take that one to the hospital. We got most of it off. Um. Yeah. What does this mean for 40k? Great question. What does this mean for me and my boys? Um, not too much. Somebody else I know has peered into the void, and the void has stared back into them, and they were interested. So, um... I don't know, hopefully I can convince that person to, uh, they don't live in Eugene anymore, but maybe if they're ever in town, we could do some good old 40K-ness. Some good old 40K stuff. Some of that 40... Warhammer, 40,000. I mean, that's if he gets into it. Me and my other buddy. We'll see. It, this is something I think a lot of people should understand about hobbies and just other things. Like, some people say they don't want people playing their game because they're, you know, they're just like, oh, just a fan of Warhammer. I don't want people playing it. Well, if you, it's like martial arts. Some people say they just like martial arts too much and they don't want people doing it. No. If you really loved martial arts or Warhammer, you'd want as many people doing it as possible. And it's not for everybody. But you'd want as many people giving it a try as, you possibly, as they possibly could. You may appreciate it greatly as a hobby, but... Denying, I in my mind, I don't think you would deny somebody something that you thought you truly enjoyed and uh, gave you a great, great, uh, a great amount of joy, great times, good memories. But all see about that one later, I guess. As time goes on, maybe I'll regret my decision to buy Orcs and play Warhammer. And uh, I can't tell the future. I really don't. Uh, right now, I don't think so. Because, um, well, uh, this game looks fascinating. But, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change my name to Humboldt Oakmont. And then uh, I'll make designer ties and do nothing enjoyable besides stare at plants and listen to bird calls. I can't account for anything that I'll do in the future. I've, as far as like 10 years from now, I'm, I, I don't know. Who knows what crazy shit could happen. For right now, man, I want to get way the shit more orcs. Um, it's just it's like, even just painting these orcs is so enjoyable. Um, there's a lot of questions I have about 8th edition. I was going to say, it's part reservation, part excitement. I guess it could be turned up as questions. But... Games Workshop's doing a great job of uh, answering these questions. And uh, for myself, with the way they changed a few things, it felt like they were watching some of these videos that I, rem I was making. They were talking about um, certain things I bang on about, like avenues of play and methods of enjoyment and... Uh, Barriers to entry and 
all sorts of shit. But that's all says may be, right? Um, as far as a expansion of this army goes, I'm just gonna keep on building, keep on painting, and uh, yeah. Uh, True scale marines. Uh, they look pretty pretty cool. I would like to see. Uh, I don't know, sprue review. I'll call it, or sprue pre preview, or like what they can, what their kit looks like. But that's just me. They should. They'll probably have all sorts of crazy shit. As far as other things that they've teased, uh, you know, all in the future. If they don't bring out any more orcs, I'm all good with that. But I hope they do. I hope they bring out some new kind of crazy orky goodness. And, uh, if not, case of Ross Raw. I'm gonna stop John before I run this out of batteries and, batteries and time.